Today's episode is all about fascia, the no gym, no diet weight loss hack that you need to know about. Fascia is really delicate tissue. In Chinese medicine, we call it connective tissue because it basically connects everything to everything else. So it's actually very easy for your fascia to go off whack. When the fascia is happy, the body will often look sculpted, which is a look that I think we all like. Massage is really good for fascia. It absolutely loves massage and the results are literally miraculous. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Own Your Health with me, Katie Brindle. Before we start the episode, please do rate and review me on Apple Podcasts or follow on Spotify because it will really, really help us help you. Also, if you're on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, please leave your comments or your questions below and we will get back to you. So today's episode is all about fascia or a more exciting working title is the no gym, no diet weight loss hack that you need to know about. So what's all this exciting news about fascia? Now, fascia is a body tissue. In Chinese medicine, we call it connective tissue because it basically connects everything to everything else. Now, unlike energy, which is invisible, fascia is visible. So if you cut open a body, you'll see it. If you Google it, you can actually see it with the naked eye. It's very fine, gossamer-esque like body tissue. Um, but it doesn't get much sort of press. It doesn't get much coverage. People don't really talk about it very much. And yet... If your fascia is waterlogged, which it can easily become, then you often will find that this is one of the reasons as to why you may find that you have stubborn fat and um, bloating or puffiness that you just, despite your best efforts in the gym, despite your best eating habits, just isn't shifting. And one of the reasons for this is that what happens to fascia is there's different sorts of fascia throughout the body, but fascia basically flows through all of the body tissue in various shapes and forms. And flowing through this fascia, this sort of gossamer-esque sort of spider's web of connective tissue, um, are two things. One, lymph, and two, energy. At the end of the 20th century, a Western physician actually realised that if he mapped the Asian energy channels across the fascia that basically they married up completely. I mean, it's so interesting. And fascia is something that we deal with in Chinese medicine a lot. Interestingly, if you think about um, the five elements, which is a very inherent part of um, Chinese medicine and acupuncture, there's five elements which relate to the astrology in the sky above and also to the organs within your body as well and these elements are fire earth metal water and wood and each one of your organs relates to that now the fire element which is the heart okay is interestingly divided into four not two all of the other elements are divided into two parts the fire is four now that's super interesting because the top half of the fire element is blood okay it's the actual organ of the heart itself which is paired with the small intestine and it's very much to do with the blood of the body okay but the lower half of the fire which is the pericardium and what we call the triple burner is very much connected um, to this connective tissue or fascia as we call it in the west and it's very much about the management of energy and it's where everything connects to everything else and that's managed by this commanding element of the heart energy itself. Now this is really important because your body is very much part of two halves. It's got a blood flow which is basically communicating everything that needs to go from one cell to another and nourishing the cells and detoxifying the cells and basically you know without blood nothing but also this fascia connection which is connecting everything to everything else so it's part of the sort of the overall management of the body but it's also very much connecting the energy of the body and it is indeed in this magical web of gossamer like tissue where this amazing energy frequency actually starts to become matter so this is where it all starts to take place that the energy flowing through this fascia at this point is where it actually starts to connect into the physical body itself and all of that is ultimately controlled by your heart now, this is important because fascia, as I've now said a few times, is really delicate tissue. OK, it's not robust tissue, it's delicate tissue. Now, fascia can be really easily um, thrown off track if you're over sedentary, if you're overstressed, if you're doing a repetitive um, activity like uh, typing or scrolling, that's going to have an effect on your fascia. And or if you're going to the gym over and over again and doing the same routine, that's going to effectively create 
um, a repetition to the fascia. Now, fascia doesn't like any of this. Fascia also doesn't like unpleasant noises. So if you've been sitting at your desk all day dealing with stress, already your fascia is not happy. If you then exit your office, which let's say is in an urbanization, and you go outside and there's building works going on or street works going on, and there's a really loud noise, your fascia doesn't like that either. So it's actually very easy for your fascia to go off whack. And the minute it does, two things happen. Either the blood supply that works through the fascia becomes cut off because the fascia has got teeny tiny little sort of portholes of where things can come in and go out again. So when the fascia gets stressed, it can often kind of tense up like this or get inflamed, which means the blood supply can't move through it um, easily, which means it starts to get dry. So often that will relate into your shoulders, for example, where if you have a massage or you rub your shoulders, they'll go because you get tense up there. It's because the fascia has got stressed partly also exacerbated by sitting at desks, driving, scrolling on phones, sitting at keyboards, all the things that we do that start to create tension in the shoulders. Um, the other thing that happens to fascia is it can get waterlogged because lymph also flows through fascia. So what then happens is that the lymph isn't flowing through smoothly either. And then the fascia starts getting clogged, it gets waterlogged, and then nothing can move. Now that's when we start to get heavy legs, puffy legs, bloating, um, or stubborn weight where it starts to sit on our bellies or our hips or our thighs or our upper arms or any of the other areas. And often it's because the fascia has got waterlogged because ultimately it's got stressed. Now, the good thing about fascia is whilst it's very easy for it to get off whack, it's also really easy to get it back on track as well. And the results are really pretty miraculous. So the first thing that I recommend for fascia is massage because massage is really good for fascia. It absolutely loves massage. Now for that... Um, I have been talking a lot recently about this Bianstone massage tool, which is what we've called the sculptor. Because when the fascia is happy, the body will often look sculpted, which is a look that I think we all like. We all want to look sculpted. We don't necessarily want to look um, teeny tiny, perhaps like we did in the 1980s, but we do want to look sculpted and toned. And by pressing this amazing tool over the contours of the body, you can allow this kind of clogged up fluids to start to get removed and flushed out and supporting the lymphatic system and allowing the fascia to vibrate back into its harmonious state. And the results are literally miraculous. So if you're one of the millions of women out there who are suffering with menopausal symptoms such as hot flushes or night sweats or brain fog and you're either resistant to HRT or you don't want to take HRT or you can't take HRT, then this is a supplement which I'm really proud to talk to you about which is called Menofriend by Dr Vegan. In this study, an impressive 89% of women experienced significant relief after using Menofriend. This award-winning natural formula combines clinically tested phytoestrogen botanicals and minerals to provide relief from menopause symptoms. There are 40,000 women who are taking this amazing product, so it really has been tested and it really, really works. Now, as well as that, it also comes in a very nice home compostable, biodegradable packaging. What's also exciting about this product is that if you use Brindle 25 at the till point, you will receive 25% off your first order. I mean, we have hundreds and hundreds now of customer testimonies, people going, I cannot believe this. Jelly bellies post post babies, post menopause, excess weight on fat, on, on, on hips, on bums, on tums, on backs of arms, all of this starting to get addressed by the sculptor massage. Um, one of the main reasons is because the tool is really thick. And also it's because it's made of a product or a material called Bianstone. And Bianstone is like Earth's gift to mankind because Bianstone, when it's good quality like this one, is made of a combination of fossils and lava. So it comes sort of deep from the Earth's core and it has the most remarkable effect on your energy and on your fascia. It starts to regulate everything because the fascia is so fragile and so... Um, sensitive, the energy frequency of the Bianstone just presses across the skin and penetrates straight through into the fascia and starts to regulate it all through. Plus the thickness of the tool has got the perfect sweep to just start to regulate this connective tissue in large sweeps across the body. So it's a really effective massage, very, very pleasurable and really, really efficient. Now, other than that, fascia also likes stretching. Now, bodies I well, I don't just believe, bodies do indeed love stretching. If you, the Taoist masters would always say, if you want to understand humans, you should observe animals. And if anyone's got a dog 
or a cat, which are quite common household animals, they will know that if you say walkies to a dog, the dog will immediately go into a stretch. It will immediately get off the sofa, which is probably where it was, um, certainly in our case, and then immediately do the downward dog stretch because it's preparing itself for the fact that it's going to have a really nice stretch because it's then going off to exercise. Cats will also do cat stretches where they sort of arch the back sort of both ways before they're off to whatever it is cats could, cats do. And who knows what that's going to be because it's all like, it's up to the cat, isn't it? But animals love to stretch. We love to stretch. And stretching is a really important aspect of self-care and it's a huge component in fascia. So one of the most important important things to do, especially if you're desk bound or if you're in a repetitive or sedentary environment is to make sure that perhaps this is time for the uh, the gong, actually, James, if we could play the gong, to have a gong on your phone. So to have a gong on your phone, which um, you can set, a, the, I use Mindfulness Bell, I really like that app, and for two whole pounds a year, you can have your gong to sound just like that, which I think is money well spent. You can set it to go every hour, uh, which is probably a good start. I actually set mine every 15 minutes, because there's nothing like a good gong to remind you to either breathe deeply, which we'll do another moment in time, but also to remind you to stretch. It's very, very important when you're sitting in a sedentary environment, especially if it's a stressed one, to stretch the body and the gong will remind you to do it. Um, the other thing that I like to suggest is perhaps when you go and have a coffee break or a tea break or you're going to the loo, that that is another little moment in the day where you can give yourself a very simple stretch. Now, there's all sorts of stretches on my social media. Um, which we could probably direct you to in the comments below rather than me starting to demonstrate stretching now because this is a podcast. But stretching and simple stretching, I cover off um, at length in my social media channels. Um, and it's a very important thing to do regularly. Your fascia will love it. And it helps to regulate the body because remember, fascia is not only sensitive, but it's also connective. It's connective tissue. It means everything connects to everything else. Your body is a holistic whole. What is going on in your brain is impacting what's going on in your gut, is impacting what's going on in your skin, is impacting your organs, your blood flow, your digestion, your, your detoxification. Everything's connected to everything else. And if the fascia is starting to get clogged up or blood starved or the lymph isn't flowing properly and it's not detoxifying correctly, your whole body is going to start to feel that and you will feel those symptoms and it will not be very pleasant. So stretching is a really useful thing to do. So massaging, stretching. And one final thing for your fascia is sound. Fascia loves vibration. So as I've said, aggressive vibrations, not good. Um, beautiful vibrations, good. Now, I am phenomenally noise sensitive. Um, since I've been doing this work and teaching people for my entire life's work, I have found myself increasingly noise sensitive and I find it very, very difficult to navigate my way through modern life because you become very aware that there is noise everywhere and your fascia starts to not like it. So one of the things that I also recommend is wearing earplugs. Um, when you're in day to day life, if you're leaving the office and you're going on a tube and you're going outside or I'm saying tube because I'm in London right now. But, you know, you will find that there's a vast amount of road noise, machinery, sort of sharp um, implements being made. And often the people using the implements have got very, very strong ear protection. Obviously, they need it for their health. But we're also being exposed to that noise and your fascia doesn't like it. So I will wear ear protection all the time. I carry earplugs with me now permanently. There are some really, really good ones, which which um, I have the maximum strength, which is 14. Um, and uh, we'll put a link in the comments below what, what the one is that I use, because I find it very helpful. Um, I just find it very useful when I'm navigating daily life. On the flip side to that, beautiful music, beautiful sounds is wonderful for the fascia. So gong baths, for example, back we go to the gong on your phone. Um, having gong baths regularly, listening to spiritual music, listening to peaceful music um, is very, very good for the fascia. So if you do yoga or qigong or you like to meditate and you are able to get yourself into a relaxed state, it's worth giving yourself an extra 10 minutes at the end of your practice to really luxuriate in the peace that you've just created through your stretching. Um, um, or indeed, if it's just normal exercise in the gym and allow yourself to really, really go into vibrational therapy to relax your fascia. So for that, it's very important, therefore, to listen to beautiful sounds, to do lovely stretching, to do lovely breathing and to do lovely massage on yourself and your fascia will thank you. So all in all, fascia is this incredibly important tissue in your body that you can see, which is the pivot point in your body between energy and matter. 
It's very easily say, taken off whack. It's equally very easily put back into place. Um, so it's a very important thing to pay close attention to. If you're looking for a no gym, no diet weight loss hack, then I would highly recommend that you try the sculptor as well because the reviews speak for themselves. And it's not just me raving about how brilliant it is. There's hundreds of other people saying the same thing. So don't be the person to miss out and be a late adopter to that little gem because it might actually enable you to actually enjoy your summer and enjoy your lovely evening meals outside whilst not suffering um, because you can use the sculptor instead. So thank you so much for joining. Now, today, actually, we have got some rather lovely reviews which I'd like to talk about because it's always nice to listen to the comments that come back from the feed. So um, I've got a couple here to talk to everyone about. So we've got um, um, from uh, well from well for some from Ireland. She says this podcast has wisdom that everyone can benefit from. A true lady, oh, a true lady doing so much good and healing people from within. I highly recommend listening. Thank you so much. Julie also says thank you for your wonderful and enlightening podcast, Katie. I totally agree and understand about keeping warm for kidney energy. I just wanted to ask your views on cold swimming, ice baths and cold showers, though. Um, so actually, that's a really useful um, question, which I will pop up in the Q&A later, because that's kind of a five minute answer in itself. and We're wrapping things up on the fascia front. So, Julie, I'll come back to you on that. But thank you for your lovely comments. Um, and AK 1096H from the US says, I found Katie during lockdown and was immediately addicted to her knowledge of Chinese medicine. Her true desire to help people heal and thrive and her hilarious manner. I'm thrilled she's now has a podcast. Thank you, Katie. So thank you so much. Um, so thank you all so much for listening and um, joining me on the, today's podcast, which is all about fascia. Um, on In Monday's Q&A, we're going to be covering topics like thread veins, athlete's foot and um, quite rare genetic disorder. So do please rate and review on Apple and leave, my, leave any comments for me on um, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you.